When I arrived, they were all huddled up. They all would freeze and then they'd stomp. There were eight of them. And mom, I could see she was hit on the road next to them. Angel Wing was the smallest. She was one of the only ones with a black body and a little white head. She was one of the sickest. Probably took about a week her trying to feel better. After she recovered, she had more energy than others. Angel Wing would just be wreaking havoc. <laughs> This little but mighty character. She was an instigator. She was that kid who'd go and like pull her siblings' hair. She was really funny. She started to become the most vocal of the skunks. He was able to pull through and in such a big way. She was a little energizer bunny. Typical girls being sassy. Coming out, they would wrestle, and you'd hear them scream and squeal. Everybody would be stomping, tail flying in the air. We would have to clean them so many times a day because they just were really messy kids. They were digging and they're creating their own dens, moving for bigger and bigger enclosures, getting different food, getting weaned off of their formula. They love to eat. They have a good appetite. It's important for them to all learn together and they don't imprint on humans. We want them to be prepared as much as possible. These skunks are really good at, at being wild. They let us know when it's time. <laughs> they were all ready to go. She is probably more the one that was pushing other siblings out the door because she was <laughs> throwing elbows. Yeah, throwing elbows. <laughs> and probably be the boss of the forest. Or even when they leave the exit door, trailing behind each other. They want to explore with each other. We're lucky that the litter survived all eight of them. Thankfully, they were able to be successfully released, which is amazing.